Hello and welcome to Seminar 2. This seminar will focus on the history of industrialized agriculture, which is our current agriculture system. It will also focus on the history and roots of alternative agriculture, which brings us to the study of permaculture. It will give each of you a better understanding of why we're studying permaculture and how it can be a better practice than the industrialized mechanized system that we have today. Some of these slides and pictures are directly from your seminar. This will be a brief overview of the history of industrialized agriculture and the history of alternative agriculture as we will go much further in depth in seminar two. This here is a picture of George Washington Carver. He was an American botanist who discovered and encouraged the introduction of alternative crops to cotton, such as soybeans, sweet potatoes, and peanuts. His goal was to introduce these different crops to farm families in order for them to grow these and aid in their nutrition, as well as provide an extra source of income. This spurred what is called self-subsistence farming. Much of the self-subsistence farming that's happened in this country can be linked to Native American heritage. This here is a simple diagram that shows the trajectory of U.S. history in terms of agriculture. The first picture depicts a self-subsistence farming lifestyle with an agrarian society within our country. Then the second picture shows the industrialized agriculture system that is based purely off of using fossil fuels in order to produce monocrops of food. And the last depiction is an alternative system, which is what we are seeing popping up all around the U.S. today. And this will lead us to talk about permaculture. The industrialized agriculture system here in the U.S. started roughly after World War II, when the U.S. had an excess amount of chemicals that they could use in order to produce pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers. And again, we will go further into what the Green Revolution was and the industrialized agriculture system when we have our second seminar. Two of the main tenets of our industrialized agriculture system are first, factory farms, and second, commodity food crops or cash crops. Factory farms are what we use today for many of our livestock operations. They are typically called concentrated animal feeding operations or CAFOs. CAFOs are confined areas where livestock live and are often need hormones and other antibiotics in order to live in such a small space. These are what we The commodity foods or cash crops that we have in the U.S. are typically corn and soybeans that are added into many other products. We will delve much further into why factory farms and commodity food crops are integrated in our system now throughout Unit 2. In this video, I will pose three of the main problems with our current industrialized agriculture system. The first problem is the degradation of our soil health. Our soils have been degraded over the past 50 to 60 years by the process of growing monocrops, which is one field full of one crop. Monocropping is usually done in this country with corn or with soybeans. They're oftentimes grown in fields and not rotated, or the fields aren't left fallow. And oftentimes, they're grown with genetically modified seeds that have resistance to a very highly chemical pesticide and herbicide. The constant spraying of chemicals has caused our soils to degrade and to be, have higher salinity. 
The second main problem is the high dependence on fossil fuels in order to run such a highly mechanized system. When we are using all these fossil fuels, we are increasing our CO2 emissions. We are also putting a high cost and a high input into our system. The third main problem is that we are continually adding these high inputs to get a high yield. Therefore, we are dependent on the chemicals that we use to produce the food that we have. And these chemicals are now creating what we call super pests or super weeds, which have mutated and have gained resistance against these pesticides and herbicides. Thus, we are creating a pesticide treadmill where you need to add more just to get by. Permaculture has many solutions for these different problems. The main solutions that we'll talk about in this video are prioritizing soil health and various ways to do that, like rebuilding the soil, using soil protection and fertility management. The second is low dependence on fossil fuels. So only using technology or heavy equipment when it's appropriate, using renewable energy and resources. And lastly, low inputs for high yield. Permaculture emphasizes this idea of keeping a closed system and designing systems based on our knowledge of ecology so that we can put less maintenance into them and in turn receive higher yields. This will conclude your brief history of alternative and industrialized agriculture. See you in seminar two.